Hey everybody, I'm so sorry to keep y'all waiting, but Randy made me a sandwich and I had to scarf that. Like, it was so good. <laughs> sandwich and Doritos. Mm. Um. Oh no. Uh, Mistress, if you send us a message, if you're expecting any packages from us, please send us a message and we will, um, Try to get you sorted out. If you're talking about us. If not, I don't think we can help you. <laughs> um, so, hey guys. I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations. And in today's live stream, we are messing about with fairy houses. So I'm over here in our, well, super cluttered forge room. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Propool. Hey, Bev. <laughs> Boop. And just scrolling through. Okay, I've got it on live chat. If you guys have an oops, why did I click that? I was trying to pull up. How do I make it be on? Ah, live chat. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, amigos. Haven't been on YouTube in a while. Oh, well, thank you. I'm actually liking my hair like this. It's okay. Um, Trying to catch up on, yeah, if you guys have any questions specifically um, for me or Randy, be sure to do the at Yvonne Williams or at Randy Vaughn, just like how our screen names are spelled, um, and it'll highlight your comment in orange, that way we know you're talking to us instead of just chatting with each other. But, um, okay, so, ah, I don't even know where to start <sighs> in this, I'm going to have to re reload this pic. Um, There we go. We are doing a giveaway today of a fairy house. So if you would like to participate in that, be sure to have gone and left a comment on last week's live stream that Randy just posted the comment or the link to. Whew. Okay. <clears throat> so those of y'all who hung out in our Saturday exclusive stream, I think I was working on this one. I don't actually remember what I was doing on Saturday. But I was having a good time. I was at least. I don't know if y'all. Did you hear about the great bead extravaganza this weekend? I didn't. <laughs> hey, Beth. It says video unavailable. Hmm. Is anybody else having any issues with that? Ah, Beth says, yep, I were. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, I went through and I did the base layer of paint around on the outside and the floor and stuff. Um, the colors that I used were real brown. Do what, love? I don't know if it does. Is this video unavailable? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, do you want to just do the one the week before that? No. Okay. Um, I don't know why it would be doing that, you know? Randy's working on it, guys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, real brown, it's real brown, is the floor. And I used this beachcomber beige um, for, the Ow. for the countertops. And then um, for the walls, I just used white, just plain old white. Hmm? There we go. Okay. Randy's got it fixed. Thank you, baby. And then I used burnt sienna. Uh, for the cabinetry. So let's go ahead. Okay, right on pro. I think Randy's sharing the new updated link that does work. <laughs> so sorry for the complication. Hopefully that'll just be like the first of many, um, but not too many today. I think I'm gonna get the camera. I don't know. I got before I get the camera flipped around and we get to painting. I've got to show you guys what else Randy and I've been working on. So um, I downloaded, like I purchased on Etsy and downloaded this super cute little house template for on our laser cutter. Y'all, look at this little house. <laughs> and what's more, check this crap out. <gasps> There's a little drawer. Okay, um, so, okay, okay, it's a working video link now. Very good to know, pro pool. <laughs> the, 
the great beat extravaganza wow oh that is really cool but yeah it, it's it, it was like small cabin or something on etsy like <laughs> and I think this is going to be the one that we're giving away today, but I actually, I don't know yet because with this one, like my plywood says it's three millimeters. I don't actually think it's three millimeters. Like I don't, I don't, th <laughs> because I had like where it joins together. You know, Okay. It's time to get the camera flipped around that way y'all can see, but just where everything was supposed to be able to just like be easily interlocking was not easily interlocking like at all. Um, so, let's get that tightened down, getting this moved over, boop, and, <laughs> sorry if you have dogs, if our dogs just made your dogs go dog. So, hey in Scotland, I want to join Patreon, but see you have a new site. I'm looking for a tutorial for Palmer Clay Wine. Sorry guys, my thingy crashed, but we're back. What? You don't have calipers? I do. I'm just very lazy. <laughs> and it said it was for, like, the template said it was for three millimeter plywood. Um, so, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, there's a super cute drawer that I'm actually using to store a whole bunch of other stuff. I was supposed to cut these parts out of, like, one millimeter plywood. I have no like I don't even know where to get that so um but you can kind of see here like on the top where those were supposed to be completely interlocking and it just wasn't hey Mary Hart how's it going I think Randy checked on the post office yesterday when he dropped the mail off but we're trying to not leave the house too much because we're technically driving on expired um tags and we're trying to work on that uh but we have to get the title from the dealership and all sorts of stuff so um were the parts cut with the glowforge they were brooke um and so i went through and i modified the file and that's what we actually have sitting cut out in the <laughs> right bev actually we've driven past and next to all sorts of cops and just nobody's pulling us over i think because the rona foobar um stuff but we, I went through and I modified the files a bit um, to hopefully be able to do a reprint. And that's what I have sitting waiting for me to take out of the Glowforge right now. But I wanted to share like that whole experience with you guys. Um, <laughs> so we also, this was the very first little house that I made that I had designed, like based off of a gingerbread house. But I incorporated my own windows and I forgot to add a door. But with these ones, I actually like having, like, just using a stir stick um, on the top and having it to where it's not interlocking. And then Randy and I designed a church. Because we are doing a um, campaign. Um, uh, actually, babe, if you could take those back to my desk, I'll be opening them in there. Oh, there's just no room in here thank you though um we are doing a campaign for thanksgiving with family to have like um we're having like a bunch of minis and everything and we're gonna set it up where um like on the table and little minis and i don't know so i wanted to make a bunch of miniatures for that in one of the buildings that was essential because of the uh cleric and paladin and stuff is the church so we designed and made this is actually just an enlarged version of this as you can kind of see that's the same exact file for the bulk of it hey christina <laughs> um this is the exact same file, just enlarged by, uh, this was 200% enlarged from this one. So, Christmas nativity scene, that'd be cool, Jennifer. But, uh, and Randy was like, hey, you gotta put a big old cross on the back, and I was like, alright. And so that's how we got that, and I'm just, I'm very excited about it. It doesn't have functional doors. I don't currently have the, uh, capability of, like, I don't have any tiny cute little hinges or anything like that. Hazy dog. So... 
Um, I haven't been able to make, oops, kick in the camera. I haven't been able to make all the doors um, open and close, but I will be adding, since I designed this file, I will be adding it to our digital download content because y'all could take this and print it out on just regular printer paper and then trace it on a cardboard or cardstock or foam board and make your own little house. You don't have to have a glow forge to be able to craft along with these. Now, if you cut it out of um, foam board or something like that, you don't necessarily need, like if you cut foam board, you're not going to want to use polymer clay or something that has to be baked to accentuate it. So that's just something to keep in mind. Whereas these guys, you can actually bake this wood. Bev says, didn't you make hinges from wire once before for one of the fairy houses? I did, Bev, um, but I don't know how I'd incorporate that onto a wooden door um, without, like, a whole bunch of, like, just messy-looking glue. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so whereas with this one, I bought the file on Etsy and then made some modifications, so it will not be going into um, our digital file, but I am going to post the link whenever I get around to it to uh to where y'all can because it was like maybe eight dollars for the file um and other than my problem with my plywood not being quite right and honestly if I'd just gone through and extended in Inkscape the little notches and stuff it would have been fine um but yeah so let's do you guys want to build the little wooden house today or do you want to work on our fairy coffee shop dollhouse miniature thingy. So, how much more do you have on that? Huh? How much more do you have on that? Um, I all the like finishing touches of adding the moss and. I think you should build the thing. The little house. Just got done talking about how to download the file. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was for the church, and we're not building the church today. Okay. But okay, Randy has spoken. <laughs> so I'm coming over here. There's a big old naked Ken. <laughs> I was tired of him standing behind me because <laughs> it would creep me out. So now I scare myself every time I look in that room because there's a half naked, seven foot tall mannequin. Okay, so the glow forge is off right now, but I spent the bulk of my morning. I actually woke up early and uh, came down and um, started modifying the files. So this is modified. It Grizzly says scares me, right? <laughs> um, this is the modified file to where it is not interlocking, so I'm going to be experimenting with this. Let me grab my clipboard because I need something to be able to. I'm going to go. I'll be right back, guys. I'm grabbing another clipboard. Um, I was thinking about using those to move my little pieces onto that way every time I bump it it stops like throwing all my crap everywhere so I have not tested this let's make sure moment of truth Ooh. oh no did I not do the cut line oh booger okay well it looks like I just made that an engrave instead of a cut that's okay. That of all the stuff, that's only one line so far that I messed up on in modifying my file. Okay, so this one's the floor. So I'm going to take our clipboard and just kind of set that there. This is the back, I do believe, of the drawer that it looks like I made two of. <laughs> okay, so that's a thing. And then these are the sides. I don't know, are those all the same size? Okay, no, so we've got two backs for some reason, and then two sides. And then here's a little part of the house. And here's a little part of the house. And here's a little part of the house. And these are the little roofy parts, little roof. And they go on like this. So that's going to be interesting. Ooh, and then this is the back side of the house. Oops. Now, all these little wooden parts, you guys, I'm actually saving because they make super cute little accessories for my uh, 
<laughs> 148 inch houses and my 124 miniatures. I'll actually show you in a little bit what I've done with some of those things. So that's more of the decorative cutout. There's that. Excellent. Now that's just an extra piece, but I still like to save. I, I, I've been saving all of my scrap. Hashtag hoarding. Um, this is the fence in the front. These are the chimney pieces. Now, this part here, you wouldn't think it, but is super important because here on the back... I'm sorry, I'm not quite able to pay attention to comments right now. Let's see if I resized that well enough. I did not. Okay. Crap. Well, and this is why it's another prototype. Um, But this little piece is supposed to fit into there as like the handle to be able to pull the drawer in and out. So I'll have to do a little bit of like filing on this, I guess. So that's okay. And then these are important. door okay all the rest of the stuff I can come back and get when we're not streaming um because I am going to save all those little doodads because like a lot of this stuff would look really cute for like making like a stepping stone pathway or any number of things so let's go back over all our little pieces let's try to get into our corner here without making a huge mess, maybe. Okay, and boop, moving the camera again. Okay, I'm gonna catch up on, um, is it weird that I want the bits <laughs> better? <laughs> um, my fluffy, huggable, fluffy, puffy, huggable chin. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start by reclaiming this one piece. Um, and if I were a wise person, I would be keeping specific notes on what needs modified. There we go. Um, what up, babe? No? State trooper? Huh. Rut row, I understand. Okay, so this right here that I'm cutting out was not a discrepancy of the Glowforge. Like, it wasn't an error by the machine. This was, um, I messed up in, in my program. Yep. You're filming it. No need for notes. Oh, Bev, I don't watch back over my own stuff. <laughs> like, not once in the history of ever. I'm like, that's past Vaughn. Yeah, I get enough of listening to myself talk whenever I edit videos. Sometimes, most of the time, actually, I just need a solid break from myself. Okay, so... Could probably do with a fresh knife blade. But I'm going to see if I can brute force my way through this. No, I'm not going to brute force my way through it. Let's see. Here we go. Also, I think a workbench that isn't an overladen, rickety four-foot table, like collapsible folding table, um, would be wise. But that's just me. Oh, boy. How do people, people in videos make it look like so easy <laughs> to cut through this crap? And I'm over here like, don't chop off my finger, don't chop off my finger. Okay. No, if I break it like that, it's gonna kind of splinter. I don't know. I'm impatient. I'm gonna off camera just 
bludgeon the heck out. Yes, excellent. Okay. At least now it's a smaller piece. <laughs> Lighter pressure, more passes. Right on, Mary Hart. I will do as you say. Hmm? Like the whole table's rocking. Makes me like sweaty. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Okay. I just commissioned a heavy marking knife to replace those orange razors. Not a fan. Right on. Filthy casual guy. Pick your screen name, by the way. Eee. I don't know. Maybe if I just go like. Get off of there. Okay. Um. I can't take the phone out for the belt sander right now, Randy. Speaking of sander. So this is the kind of stuff I like to avoid because I don't feel like I'm very good at it. I just want to get it right on the glow forge the first time. Cleaning that up just a little. Excellent. Okay. Ah, oh, sawdust everywhere. Or er, sandpaper. Sand, no? Is it still sawdust if it comes off of sandpaper? Huh. Okie dokie. And should we paint it or do y'all want to be able to paint it? Okay. Ah, oh, that's brilliant, mistress. Okay, so for on this one, on the roof, you can see on the original template that I purchased on Etsy, it was interlocking. And just my own preference. I prefer stuff to not be interlocking just because I'm a barbarian. So it'll just glue kind of together like this. I could go through and sand off all the dark edges, but I'm going to leave them for you to do that if you're the one who wins our giveaway. So also another modification that I... Where's the front of my house? Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> getting all sassy at it. Like, excuse me? Um... Well, now I miss the dark edge that was supposed to be there. So, again, here on the side, instead of it being interlocking. I do too, Melissa. I do like the dark edges. So, it'll just glue together like that. So, let us begin with assembling, like gluing on all the little window holes. Where is my glue? Okay. So I've got broken end of a toothpick. And I've got a lid from Brahms. I don't put it in the center part. That's bad news. Um, But to keep my whole bottle from drying out, I like to um, just splat it on out there. What's up? No, yeah, we're not setting stuff on fire today. Unfortunately. Okay, get all the little crumbsies out of the way. Now, if I were making one of these, um, I learned my lesson on the uh, coffee shop to paint the pieces before you go glue and crap together. Um, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to glue crap together without painting it. So whoever wins this, I'm sorry. I'll try to do nice, like, tidy gluing. That way, uh, it'll be easier for you to paint it. So I'm just coming through. And this is just regular old wood glue. I'm sure there's an easier way of going about this. But I'm trying to not gunk too much up in between 
um, all the little nooks and crannies of this because it this gives a really nice like waddle and daub look and um I feel like this pattern was every bit worth the money we spent on it on Etsy because I've learned so much just about the depth of that adding textures in like layers because it looks super complicated but I am very much a beginner at this <laughs> like not good at building stuff um Oh, I hope so. I'd love to build a real house one day. That's kind of what Randy and I were thinking with all this mess. Okay. So now I'm coming through. And you can see how this frames the windows really nicely. I'm focusing up on having the roof edged properly. Now, it is going to overhang just a little bit because I trimmed off the little nubs that would have been poking out for it to lay on. But that's just going to be holding on to, like, whenever we attach the front piece, that will just be holding on to the front as well now. <laughs> Wouldn't a paintbrush be easier? Yeah, but then I feel like I waste a paintbrush every time I do glue because I'm really bad about rinsing my paintbrushes out. And it is easier to do it the hard way than to try to change my habits. <laughs> so you mean the super burnt side of the wood? Yes. And the super burnt side is actually the side that was facing down on our glow forge. Um so that's kind of that laser heats up the metal. Yeah, it heats up the metal and the metal then scorches the wood. Now we could avoid this by like masking. Um, like doing the masking tape, but not only does that add to the cost just of production, but also the time investment that goes into each of these pieces. I don't feel like going through and peeling off a metric crap ton of masking tape. Ah, that's a really good idea. The junky, uh, paintbrush. Wait, which idea did you read, Randy? Yeah, the junky paintbrush. Right on. Yeah, that is. Okay, so just coming through, getting, oh, I missed a spot. And I don't want to be too blobby with it because I don't want a bunch oozing up whenever I smush it. Mmm, the air feed is on top and doesn't reach the bottom. Right on, Propool. So just smushing that together. Pardon me, I don't mean to sniffle in your ear. It's, it's starting to get cold all of a sudden. We've had, like, a thunderstorm this morning, which was really nice. Um, but now there's, like, it's there's a chill in the air, a very distinctive chill in the air. I wonder if winter is finally here, if it's going to be 80 degrees again. No, it's supposed to get down to 33. Oh, really? Okay. I'll have to put fresh straw out for all the critters. Because it got hot, so they all kicked the straw out of their cages and... Okay, so now we're going to do this top part. Mmm. Well, that's a good idea, Tracy. <laughs> not to, I'm not sassing you, but I do not know where I would put another thing on this table. <laughs> Ooh, a damp Q-tip. Right on. Mmm. I'm glad you know what you're doing, Propol, because I'm just bumbling around, bumping into crap, trying to make stuff. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Hey, Randy. This is so much easier than doing it at, like, what was it, 2 in the morning? Because I was like, I am not going to bed until I finish this house. And my eyes were crossing, because I had to go through on, like, stuff like the... You can see I did not do a very good job. Oh no, um, of trying to like mod out the chimney so that it would actually fit. So I was like, I'm finishing this house tonight. And that was after building the church and the mini house. So, hi Coco. I'm glad you like our vids. And the mini church, that's right. Okay, so just, and I do kind of like using the three millimeter 
for the overlay as well. I feel like it adds a whole lot of, like, a whole lot of depth. Like, it, it looks beefy. That's some beefed up Waddle and Dob. Okay. So now we have a chimney. Well, before we do that, I do have three, four more windows and a door to add. So let's go ahead and... That's way too much glue. Just spread a little layer. Right, Tracy? That's kind of what I was trying to go for, was that Tudor. Tudor? Tudor? Tudor. Waddle and Dob. The toot Tudor. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word. Help. <laughs> Is it Tudor House? Oh, help me. <laughs> Next, build a chicken coop, right? Well, I figured, because I, I, I bored myself to tears trying to figure out, like, architecture and stuff, but, um, tutor. Tutor. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if I try to build anything that's possi a possible reality, like a chicken coop or a yoga studio or anything like that even if in my mind it's simple I get very very overwhelmed so I'm going to stick with just for for the time being like for the next like two hours I'm going to stick to um just getting good at gluing crap together um ooh, uh, right on Bev so now we have these little window frames I'm going to angle this down if I can there we go <clears throat> And y'all, I'm very impressed by how well glue sticks to stuff. Um, but no, like for cereal. And it does really help to have that line engraved on there <clears throat> to like kind of focus your efforts. So there's that. Some colors around that would be cool for the inside of the windows. Oh, that would look really cool. We should have done that on the church for the big cross. Make it like a stained glass cross. There is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have some like thin like poster board um, the, the plastic that they use is glass in the big poster board frame. Um, we have some of that that we've saved from poster boards that have, the frame broke, but the glass was still good. Okay, so next up I have, you can see on this guy, one of the headaches on this one was the front porch sat into the bottom as well as embedded into the wall, but none of those notches were the right size. So you can kind of see like right there how I tried to like chisel in to get it to fit it was such a headache so I went through and um, changed the file and extended the texture to try to um, Make these fit just a little better. Now I just hope that it doesn't like not fit under the roof. So I'm gonna note to self I probably could have left the spot where there was a hole without texture, just like how we did on the windows. It had that like line around it. So to establish a um, basic width, I'm going to use just this piece of scrap 
and I'm going to put that in between the door and the thing that we're adding. That way I can try to make sure it's squared up. But also, now I can try to make sure that the other one is the same distance away from the door. And I'm having it with the texture out. Oopsie. So let's try to make sure that that piece is nice and in there. Without knocking the other piece off. Okay. So now, oh, I glued the toothpick to myself. <clears throat> Have you watched The Queen's Gambit? I have not. Um, it was highly recommended to us, though, by a couple of our different sets of friends, so we'll have to check that out. As somebody who went to chess tournaments as a kid, um, but was exceptionally terrible at chess, um, I thought it'd be interesting to watch. Okay, so you, that was your super glue on those small pieces to set them quickly. Ooh, that is a good idea. Thanks for letting me know. I'm not quite as able to keep up with the comments as what I would have liked. But I'm bustling. I'm going to get this thing made. Okay. Oh, son of a duck. Okay. <clears throat> Ducktails. <laughs> Ducktails. Done for checking the thickness. Just find that time before I <sighs> sigh in exasperation. Excellent. Okay. So I'm just gonna. You know what? It's good enough. I'm gonna set it over here so I stop fiddling with it. Um. And that was an idea too, Jim. Here, where'd it go? It is somewhere in this house. Here it is. Um, this is a piece that I had designed these, like, wall panels, like, window panels, um, and then was sculpting air dry clay around it, but, um, I think that was a little big, like, I felt overwhelmed on that project, so I was like, abandon it! <laughs> well, I'll need a fresh paper towel for whopping my uh, paintbrushes off on. I had to rescue a fairy house that had but ugly inside but had lights in so I couldn't just block the windows. Cheesecloth saved me. Ooh, right on. Done it ever since. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> okay. So, also, very important, get the chimney put together before you glue your roof on. So, again, just while this other stuff's drying... Hmm. Hmm. What'd you say? See, I don't know the words to DuckTales. <laughs> DuckTales. <laughs> Duck <-tales. laughs> yeah, they, that's our, our gift to y'all for the day is um, go forth and sing DuckTales to the other adults. Okay. Sorry, trying my best to stay in frame. The good news about having a disaster of a work area is I can only <laughs> wander so far. Okay, so again, using this scrap piece is a little bit of a fence to kind of try to keep everything lined up. Hey, Jody, how's it going? So trash. Tailspin was pretty good stuff. I'm just saying. Uh, 
Uh, hey, Monica, how's it going? Okay, so let's see where we are. Very cool. Cartoon nostalgia day. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget, you guys, we're going to be giving away this fairy house in today's live stream. So be sure to uh, go leave a comment. Randy just shared the, um, the link to where you can go and leave a comment on last week's live stream. And that'll put your name in the hat for whenever we do the drawing. Okay, I will not glue my scrap piece. Doesn't it? Like, Randy watched me struggle and fight with this stupid <laughs> chimney last night. Because that was the last part that I did. Because I had glued the roof on and everything. Oof. And um, then had to take it off. Ah! <laughs> ah. Okay. So, very important. Do not glue those two pieces because this is actually the front of your drawer that's going to be going in there. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> the best way to get shout outs, Andy, um, is to contribute to the conversation, but also um, if you highlight my name in orange, I can see your comments. Um, and that way I know you're talking to me and not just chatting with each other. Hey, Wendy. Did I leave my files in there? No, I found them. I found them. Ducktails, a doo doo. Okay, so I'm gonna take this flat file. This is what I was doing last night, y'all, by the way, on everything to try to get crap to fit together. I imagine a sanding stick would work a little better, but I don't <laughs> say my name now. Hey, Pro Pool. <laughs> I'm going to start charging y'all a dollar for shout outs. Do what? Give me a dollar. Give me a dollar. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I imagine a sanding stick would work better, but I do not have any sanding sticks. I lost my little thingy. Where's my thingy at? Um, I followed you since before. Or you were doing mandatory dollar shout outs. <laughs> yes, Randy. <laughs> dollar for a hollow, that's right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jody, I actually didn't see your comment. Sorry. I'm glad you are doing well, though. We're doing pretty good here. Oh, y'all. We did a shop update yesterday. If you're interested in buying, like, cabs and jewelry and stuff, go check out our uh, shop. Commercial over. Um, <laughs> yes, for sure. Daniel's actually busy with, he said, chores today. So he's not joining us, but that's all right. I totally understand and respect needing get, to get chores done. I just wish I had the... Uh, Discipline to actually do my chores and instead I'm just coming through <laughs> doing this DuckTales and Lulu Do 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 I don't know probably Well So I'm just sanding away a little at a time. <laughs> like, is there a better way to do this, you guys? There has to be. This is the worst. Hey, <laughs> Christina. <laughs> Yeah, it's because I don't think the file's working. The file actually makes, like, this super fine...
powder. It's intended for metal, so I don't think it's... Like, it's not... It doesn't have a large enough tooth for wood, I think. Oh, no, Paper Dreamer! Like... Hot dog. Yeah, Dremel, probably. Yeah. No, well, it's my Dremel's in the other room, and it's loud. Ooh, yeah, a nail file. Small rasp. Is this not a small rasp? I think it's a metal file. Like, I, I think... A bee dreamer? Nah, I don't know about a bee dreamer. Because I need that flat edge, because this needs to fit in there. Get in there. Oh, it's so close. It is so close, you guys. Maybe if I just hit it a bunch. Eh. What is it? I'm using it. Filing intensifies. <laughs> Not entirely. So close. What up, babe? Did you make the design of the house? I did not. I modified this one. Ooh. I bet. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, oh, it's in there. It's in there. We did it. Ah. Not yelling, just at work. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Because <laughs> I'm like, man, she's really excited. <laughs> uh, where's my little boopy hammer? Okay, so our handle's on there. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I don't mean to <clears throat> clear my throat directly in your ear. Yeah, I don't think that, I think you're right, Bev, that one will not need glue. But we have glue. So now we get to add in the window frame. No, there is a, hey Randy, would you actually mind sharing the link to the Etsy page where we purchased this pattern? Okay, I'll try to um to find it and put it into the video description after the video. But truthfully, if y'all just if you search like crap, I don't know. I don't even know how I found this. Um, <laughs> to the heck with smushing, just beat it. And you just smushing, but harder. Oh no, y'all! It doesn't stick out enough. Crap! <laughs> and I can't get it back out. Okay, we'll just grab it by the window. This one doesn't have a very good handle. Hey. <sighs> so, note to self, I need to make that thingy bigger. Just because, like, on this one, you can see it sticks out a little bit more. So, there's a little bit of something to hold on to. Ooh, right on purple. That'd be amazing, actually. Okay. Oops. Oh, hey, Carol. I hope you're feeling better. Just trying to tidy up. I don't mind slathering the glue around a little bit. I just want to make sure it doesn't dry towards obscuring the view. Woo! <laughs> right, paper? Okay. So we've got that one down. Our chimney is drying. That's excellent. Excellent. Uh, what do we put inside the drawer? Whatever the heck you want. Honestly, this one... Oh, no. is stuck. Ah! I put too much stuff in my drawer. Maybe if I shake my house. My drawers will come out. There we go. <laughs> so, uh, I put just a bunch of little odds and ends from, like... These were for... from These were the scrap from cutting out the uh, windows on the church. 
I'm actually gonna dump those over yonder, but that's a sizable, like, you could fit, I don't know if you could fit a whole necklace, but you could put, like, some earrings or something, or, <clears throat> I don't know, and I also think it's kind of cool just so you can pull it out and have a bunch of, like, super tiny doll furniture, and then you've got the whole inside of your house, and you can, like, I don't know, this is a little smaller than Polly Pockets, wouldn't it? Does anybody else in here play with Polly Pockets? Just me. Okay. <laughs> Did you put a tater masher in that drawer? I don't think I could fit a tater masher in that drawer. But I like where your head's at. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, the template that you get, you guys, from the Etsy seller, um, you can put it into, it's an SVG file. Actually, it's a couple of different formats, but I only know anything about, and not even much then, about SVG files. So, um, <clears throat> you can put it in there and you can just size it up. So, you could make this. So, for reference... This house, sized up by 200%, became that, this church. But, like, their base is the same. And so you can see the window size. Um, so you could size it up by, like, 150%. And if you have it, like, I've gone through, and I'd like to design maybe a similar concept, but that's unique enough that it's not copyright infringement, because I really like what these people do, and I, I do highly encourage you guys to go purchase from them. Um... <laughs> nerd says did you mean did anyone else have a Polly Pockets house and promptly lose every tiny piece that goes inside I actually still have one of my Polly Pocket houses um I actually found them um, like I found a bunch of my old toys in a shoe box <clears throat> uh and it had like my little micro mini grand champion horses um you never had a potato... Oh, I understand, Laura. Yes, it was a potato masher, 100%. <laughs> Lisa. Some dandelions, sure. <laughs> um, but no, I was pretty good about not losing my toys. <clears throat> Past Vaughn would be very disappointed in present Vaughn. Okay, so because they're just glued together, I'm going to do a test fit first. And make sure that everything is sitting proper. Yes, that is the correct size. And I want to make sure that this will fit inside of the house. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think that'll fit. Cool. So we're going to... This is really coming together, y'all. Like, this is coming together way faster than the first house last night she's using nail file right on i don't have a nail file. i actually use these files on my nails i'm a monster <laughs> um <laughs> and that's not fair we had a friend send me some glass nail files but they're all upstairs and i think i, I don't think i'm going to use a glass nail file um on wood so just using the table to square that off. DuckTales, loo -loo. Okay, so that's the back. Here's the other side. Yes, that's what I meant. Dandelions. I know, Lisa. <laughs> You couldn't possibly have meant anything else. <laughs> Pro pool, I believe you do, man. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find the fine line between... I don't want to overdo it with the glue, but I also don't want to be too stingy. Okay, and I'm going to let that set up Whoa, for just a minute. That way I don't do that. There we go. What's up, my love? Nothing. Nothing. Sis. 
Okay, so let's start assembling our walls. Where in, the, where in the heck is the front of my house? There it is. Okay, are these glued on there yet? Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay. So these two are exactly the same. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> do what, love? Oh, cool. Um, so I'm going to glue all the sides together before, um, I glue everything to the bottom. Before I, no, wait, what do you mean by a desk drawer? The little drawer part that sticks into it? No, the, uh, drawer itself. Yeah, that's what I've just started putting together and it's drying off to the side. Oh. But before I get too much farther along with that, I need to have the inside or the house made. That way I can double, triple check that it actually does fit inside of it. Yeah. But thank you for double checking me. I have my face in the phone. Continue to do it. Woo, right on. Duct tape. Salute. Okay. So there's those pieces. We're going to be attaching the front first. So let's get a smoosh. Bye, Christina. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, there's that one. And then we're going to come around here and give that a solid smush. You know. That is not enough glue. Go some on that side. <clears throat> some on that side. And now I'm actually going to put some on this side as well. Um, I just got on and looked to know where I can get the house kit. Right on. This house kit I purchased on Etsy. And I cannot for the life of me. I thought that we'd be able to just pull it up. But Randy and I, neither of us can remember um, which file it was. So I'll be adding that to the video description. Babe. I don't know if I still have the email. But it should. You, there should be like a link in the email. To where you can go to the shop. Like, you know what I mean? Could you check that for me? Okay. So again, the interlocking does fit a little bit more, like, on purpose um, and, like, snugly. But this does, though I am struggling, this does go together e more easily. Where did my little back? There it is. Okay, so now the back part that has the chimney on it. Do, 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 do. Wow. Hmm. Oh, you deleting. Was it a troll? Was it like a clever troll? Hmm. I know, it's so disappointing. Okay, so we've got some glue there. I've used two glues at once. Slow glue with one drop of super glue at the ends and one in the middle. Slow glue everywhere else. Ah! Oh, that's brilliant, Propool. The only super glue I have on hand at the moment is um, a Sure Gel super glue. Like, uh, where, I don't even know. There it is. And it actually gel control um it takes forever to dry <laughs> like unless it's sticking to my fingers in which case it's like instant hold um but <laughs> so i'm just gonna stick to belligerently stick from keeping my life complicated more more so than it needs to be certainly okay do, 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 do. Do, 
Okay. So now from here, that is fantastic. We can test and see if our drawer fits in, which it do. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to have that stuck in my head, y'all. This is just what's happening. So now it's sitting on the little floor, which I did enlarge the base of this um, because the other house, where'd it go? You can see I was actually overhanging on the edges. Whoops, my drawer fell out. Um, and here on the front, I actually had to glue on some scrap pieces to, uh, to get that to hold together. So now I'm going to come through, <clears throat> excuse me, Ooh, well they can, we're, we're not, we're going to wait just a couple more minutes before the giveaway. <laughs> Gotta be like, they can wait. <laughs> Oops. But I'm going to try to get it pieced together and then after the giveaway we will do other fairy house stuff. Yes. It's going to be a very um, eventful live stream today. I do believe. Okay, so the back's going to be just a little low. But I feel like that gives us a little bit more stability. So I could tweak the size of this back panel to be a little bit more narrow and a little more tall. Let me check. No. It still fits. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that was my mistake because I had just uh, copied the outline from the facade of the drawer. Like the face of the drawer. And that was large enough to be like the house. Okay, and this seems like it's not completely square because there's a bit of a gap. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to try to have that centered up on the front. So it's a far ways off from perfect, but I wasn't really shooting for perfect anyhow. Okay. <laughs> Um. Lock tight gel works awesome. Lots of colors look silly because of dry surface. Wiping surface with damp paper towel helps speed up drying. Ah, right on. So, test fitting. Excellent. Mmm, if you're filling a gap, you can use cornstarch to speed it up too. Right on. Okay, I've got that set over onto the side. Let me see if I can find the template for y'all. So give me just a sec. Mm. Ooh, coffee. Oh, there's so many cute little doll house dollhouses on here. Okay. So this is the file. Small wooden cottage cut files is the uh, product name. And it is by Paint by Laser.
So that is the file and this is how mine came out. So um maybe I can Ah Sorry. Wait, how do I copy just like give me a link? Oh I don't know how to copy it. Like to make it be on my clipboard <laughs> is that a thing do, 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 do. maybe if I go like that I don't freaking know Haha! -ha. Oh my gosh! <laughs> ah! Randy, you sent me memes? So many. That's amazing. Did you get the thing I sent you? Because it's not showing it to me anymore. <laughs> Dang it! Um, if you could copy that link, honey, and put it into the uh, beat boop, into the the chat. Okay, so now we have this front window is going to be a thing that we do, but we're going to glue our roof on first. Um, What's up? No, he sent me memes. He sent me memes, mistress. Ooh, my nose is cold. We might need to turn the heater on, Randy. Ah, excellent. So, thank you so much, honey. Randy just shared the listing. Because he is my hero. Oh, it actually lines up. Oops. More perfect. Maybe? No. Now it just doesn't sit on there right at all. Okay. So we'll do it like that. <laughs> but now that's too far over. Okay. So I'm going to have to shave these down by like a smidge. Where did my flush cutters go? There they are. DuckTales. So I'm going to come in and just snip <laughs> those things off um, because I need it to be shorter boop, 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 boop. that is the worst way to do that and I don't recommend it but I gotta hustle okay Oh, stinking, dinking little things. It's still, you can see, way too much of a gap. Okay, so let's pretend for a minute that I'm good at eyeballing stuff. And I'm going to come in right there. Right there. <laughs> well, now there's a little gap. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> it's okay. I have an idea. <laughs> what? Randy. <laughs> I can hear you mocking me mercilessly, Randy. Oh, why does none of this fit right? Just get on there, glue. Okay. So, again, uh, my wall's sticking out just a little bit further, so I could do to enlarge this 
top part by just a smidge or maybe filing that down flat. I don't know. So there's going to be a gap. This is, this is life now. Maybe if I just glob more glue in there. I know that's not how this works, but here we go. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, hun. Okay, so I'm going to do the roof on this guy the same way we did the roof on the other. On my, um, church. Oh, it fits over the chimney. At least something worked out the way it was supposed to. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Lydia. Sorry, guys. I'm not as able to keep up with comments today. I'm trying to get this made before we do the giveaway because this is actually our giveaway prize. Um, so be sure to do the at Yvonne Williams if you have any question. A tutor home for a tutor, perhaps? <laughs> perhaps. And we will give this at least 24 hours to dry before shipping it. So whoever wins it will ship it when it's dry. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so now from here, you can see we actually have that gap along there at the top. That is okay. I'm going to smush that. And kind of clean that up, putting the extra glue just there on the top. Because what we're going to do here is I have some of these round bamboo skewers. Oops. <laughs> it's okay, everything's fine. And I'm just going to come in here and... Bloop. That was my mouth making that fart noise, by the way. <laughs> and then I'm going to put that in there like that. I'm going to go like this. Hey, ow, it hit me. <laughs> I did not expect the ricochet shot. And so that's how I do the top of the roof like that. Okay, so now we shall... Aw, Phyllis says, my father-in-law used to say, it's not whether you make a mistake, it's how you fix it. Right on. That is a great mentality. And I'm making this one all oozy gooey because I'm going to come in here and glob that down. Now this one I want to come facing as far forward as I can there in that little lip of the roof. And it lines up in the dead center with this line right there. Hey Carol, how's it going? Not a whole lot, just making some fairy houses. Now, one of these is slightly longer than the other, and it goes from end to end there. I actually really like having the double wide edge to attach to. Yep, there are two Carol Edwards, it seems. Okay, doing this top edge and then just a smear along there. And just sitting it down, gluing it on. And now for the other side. So 
There we go. Did I do? I did the wrong side. Yep. Just wipe that off with your finger. <laughs> Yes, it would definitely need to be bigger to be able to fit either prosthetic or wire wrapped elf ears. This is quite a petite box. Okay, so another idea would have been really cool for some continuity on the roof is if I just made both of these the same size and then did another round peg there on the top would have been cool. I think. So I'm kind of just squeezing this now to bring this side up just a little bit more. There we go. So it'll have a little bit of a gap that is okay because I kind of feel like I can go in and fill in some gaps with some like a greenery or wood filler or what have you. So, but isn't that super cool that it comes out like that? What's that, a dormer or something? I don't know. There's a word for that. <laughs> there's a word for this thing. It's an architecture term. But yeah, I was thinking we could come through and have, I've got the pointy ends of these. Where we could just use the flat end. Where's that piece that stabbed me? I'll just use that. I've lost it. But, um... I don't know. You can... Sorry, I buggered that part up <laughs> for the giveaway. I really thought it would be fine. I was wrong. Ooh! That'd be cute. Or something. Like, you could add stuff to the front. I don't know. Whew. Okay. So, now we're going to... glue this bad boy on pulling it on all the little peg tips and everything. Now the back lines up completely with the back. Ooh, oh that would be super cute, nerd. And that's, I'm hoping that whoever wins this in our giveaway will have the uh, freedom to do all of those different things to it to make this their own. And that they can have their own little fairy village or jewelry box or just however you like. You can paint it however you want. You can add greenery. You can make a whole ding-dong town. The overhang is called the eaves, right on, but like this part here, like in particular. Because like, is that a gable? I don't know. Okay, getting that smushed. Now I'm not gonna put the drawer in just yet, but that's looking like how it's supposed to look. A dormer right on gave one dormer very cool right on Beth oh oh I was <sighs> these little guys are the fence that go along the side here I'm actually just going to squeeze out a bit of fresh glue. Okay. Whoopsie. <laughs> and just along this edge. Yep, we're coming right up on the giveaway, guys, so be sure to go leave a comment on last week's uh, stream. And if you want, you can make it a yes or no comment, and we'll answer it in the video. Like a yes or no question, rather. Ooh, the dog hair is free. And permanently attached, apparently. 
Okay, so now we're going to come through. And I'm going to do a bit of glue there as well. Okay, and again, using this piece of scrap as a little bit of a guide just so that I can press against it, and that'll get us a nice little effect like that. Okay, so we're just coming through. And a bit of glue on the back side there. Okay. Smoosh. Smooshing that down. Our floor is still just a smidge small. So I'm going to have to tweak with that just a little bit more, too. Whoops. Well, you know, we could do that as well. It actually fits pretty nice underneath there, but then we can't get into our front yard, so I don't need it that far back. Just getting all the glue off my fingers. Right on, Phyllis. Probably wake up a cat again. Oh, Ember. <laughs> they do. I'm a terrible mother. <laughs> and Ember's like, I know. I'm glad you finally noticed. Terrible mom. And I'm like, thanks, cat. <laughs> Thank you. Smushing that together. So this has only taken, like, what, an hour and a half to make? <laughs> yeah, it was like 16, I think, on the Glowforge. But I was doing my hair when that was happening, so. Whoopsie. Okay, trying to keep everything nice and squared up on the sides. Well, there is a little fairy house. So other than me, it looking like you got beavers chewing through your support beams. Um, other than that, I think this is a fairly decent version of a fairy house. And did I glue that on crooked with the crap? What is even happening? I did. I glued it on crooked. And now it's dry. Oh no. Well, uh, whoever wins this, you got it for free. So I guess you, good luck. Um, it's a bit crooked on the back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so giveaway time. Excellent. Oh, I love it. So not bad. So now you can see the side by side differences between, um, the interlocking that came with the kit that was in the uh, file already and then the little bit of modification that was made i think i'm definitely going to shave this down by like three to four millimeters so i don't have to trim anything um probably on the bottom and side that way it actually fits under the eaves of the roof um so we're definitely learning but i really like it and maybe i should get better at glue and stuff 
yeah, definitely should get better at gluing stuff. I can't believe that went off square. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Excellent. So now, we are going to be joining Randy in the main craft room. And we're going to give away this cute little fairy house. So let's go. Last chance to go leave a comment and put your name in the hat. What's up, baby? What do you think of it? It's pretty good. There's some more tweaking that needs done. I'm not going to lie, it is a lot smaller in person. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. There's a Randy for reference of how little that is. Yeah, I don't know what I did that made it... Oh, it's talking about... Um, uh, be, like... Crooked. I mean, I had it sitting on a flat surface. Bing, bing, coming through. What are you doing? <laughs> but I had it sitting on a flat surface. It just went off the square as it was drying. So that's a thing. Burr, it's like cold. What? <laughs> Keep me warm, beautiful man. Uh -huh. All right, you ready? <laughs> yes, are y'all ready? Actually, before you do that, I have to take an opportunity to thank our sponsors. Y'all better hurry. Which is you guys. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching our stuff and <laughs> subscribing. Hint, hint, hint. Um, but also, a huge thank you to our Patreon supporters, who please move over to our Craft Along Club, because we're moving away from Patreon so we can do giveaways like this in our exclusive streams without violating contract. Um, I highly recommend it. Yes. And to our Craft Along Club supporters, y'all make our life possible. So thank you guys so much for that. Um, if you enjoy our content and would like to support our channel, please check out our shop. We have some jewelry up for sale. We have more cabs. We did another shop update. What'd you put in there? What's in there? Is there dice in there? There it is. Ah! <laughs> um, and yeah, so we, we do all sorts of stuff over there on our website. But yeah, so thank you everybody for being here with us today so now it's giveaway time y'all ready to win a fairy house what are you doing you can fit four dice in there can you yeah that's not very many but not a fifth one not a fifth one too big too big okay all right y'all ready they there said they're ready <laughs> what 63 individual commenters <laughs> so one of you 63 is going to get it he clicking the button, y'all. Oh, that's different than how it's been in the past. Rachel Delage said, missed the live. Was that a kissy face? I think so. Mm. Rachel, congratulations. You're a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You get a fairy house. Are you here, Rachel? She may have missed this one, she too. May, she may have missed this live stream as well. Will you be making them to sell? Would love to give us Christmas gifts. I don't think so. Well, it's it says that you can. Okay, but I don't there. think we you don't will. Think so? I think I'll be making them. Maybe once we have like a completely worked out template. Yeah, it's uh, there's some twerks that twerks tweaks tweaks that need worked out. <laughs> there's some twerks that need act out. Santa's elves, just Santa elves are just twerking away on this one. Huh. Um. But, <laughs> but, um, maybe. I don't know if we'll actually have it in time for the holiday season, but we're going to do our best. Eee! But this was so much fun to make with you guys. Okay, so now you have mail to open. We do. We have some mail to open, and then we get to do more fairy house stuff. So y'all ready? We're also going to do the other thing since you didn't put it out yesterday. Oh, I talked about the tabs already. Uh -huh. Yeah. I just, I don't want it to just be the shopping network. Well, it's not. You built a house. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So if you guys want to see video of our new calves, just let us know and we'll go through and um, show off what we have left. And show off what we have left. Yeah. Okay. So but for now. Ah! <laughs> okay. I didn't wreck. It's fine. Everything's fine. This chair needs a realignment. It is like leaning hard. Oh, there was already a chair in here. <laughs> well, Beep, beep, back up chair. Oh, that's actually the more comfy chair. 
Get out of here, chair. Hello. Oh, so squishy on my butt. Okay. Um, <laughs> Amazing Amy said, show the new cabs, please. We will. I got to open some mail first. So we have, it says, okay to open on live stream. Anita, are you here? He was earlier. I don't have any scissors. Do you scissors? Yes, I do. Or do you need uh, a razor? A razor would be fine, but I've got scissors. Anita, are you here? Aw, thanks, Tracy. Whoops. These are the dullest ass scissors. I'm not going to say in the whole house because I know we have scissors that are worse off. Oh, goodness. It says, it's okay to read. That's exactly the way to do it. Oh, goodness. This is to both of us. Will you sit with me while I read it? I was gonna check to see it. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. She says, hello, Yvonne and Randy. Hey, Anita. <laughs> At this point, I've been watching you guys for quite a few years, and I've learned so much. And it's been inspiring to see your business grow as a result of all your hard work. If anyone deserves success, it's you too. Come here, honey. This is a really nice letter. <laughs> I've often tried to think of something I could send you to show my appreciation. I mentioned this to Don one day and when he was watching the live stream with me. He left out and came back bringing this. Because you're like us, that is, you never met a rock you didn't love. And because we couldn't remember ever seeing one on your show, sorry if we missed it, we'd like for you to add this to your wonderful collection. This is an enhedro, sometimes called a bubble crystal. <gasps> what? It's a quartz crystal that has water trapped inside from back when the earth was forming. If you look through it toward the light and gently rocking it, you can see the air bubble moving in the water. Don has, Don has marked it for you to make it easier to find. That's awesome. Don dug this just a few miles from our house. We live in southeastern Oklahoma, is at the west end of the vein that runs through Mount Ida. Right on. We've gone there several times for their quartz festival and we always ask around. There are none of these for sale. We were told they did not find these in their minds. At one place, they said they had once ordered one from South America, but when it sold, they didn't replace it. At another place, we were told that years and years ago, some elderly woman found a few in a ditch, but no more have ever been found. Wow, it's true. You can find these from China on eBay, but we wanted you to have one that was homegrown. We hope it finds a home with the rest of your beautiful gems and stones. Wow. Um... A big part of why we enjoy watching y'all is that you guys remind us so much of us. Around here I do most of the crafting and Don keeps me in check and makes sure everything is running as smoothly as possible. We are the senior citizen versions of Randy and Vaughn. Keep it doing what you're doing and we'll keep watching you do it. <laughs> Love, Anita and Don. Oh my gosh. This is P.S. He's also sending you a small cluster. Holy smokes. Like, That's really awesome. Uh, even if there was nothing in the box, this is such a lovely letter. Thank you so much, Anita. And do you, can I open one and you open one? Yeah. And Don too. Thank you, Don. I think I got the cluster. Yeah. Does Ember want in on this? She's Ooh, like, I'll take oh, the box. I have the cluster. Oh, oh my cluster. gosh. Look at that. Whoa. Yeah. <gasps> That's cool. Thank you. This is like super high quality. This is the nicest rock I've ever seen. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. So many layers of bubble wrap. Yeah. It is so sparkly. That's just a beautiful crystal, isn't it? Oh. Here, I'm gonna set this down. That is so cool. Where's it at? I mean, I see the marker mark. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, okay, I don't know. Let's let's see if we can do this. Okay. So <laughs> the, here's a blue line for reference. Okay. Yeah, here's I'm gonna bring this down so I'm not sticking my arms up so high. Okay. Ready, ready. 
go? Because it was like I saw it. Okay, so first off, just look at how beautiful that stone is. Let me lower this down. My arms are tired from holding it up already. Okay. Okay. Maybe if I hold it upside down. I can't find it again, Randy. <laughs> I like that. Bev's just like, bye, nerd. <laughs> but I didn't know that we had somebody named nerd in here. <gasps> See? It jumped. Like, there's like a little bubble. Mm -hmm. Like, there's the little bubble right there. How do we get the, the, blue. the blue off? A little bit of... It's going to take more than slobber, so... I done licked your rock. <laughs> but yeah, it's right, like, in there. Yeah, you can... Wow. And from not too far from here, too. <gasps> See? Ah! It jumped again! Oh! Wow. That is just so cool. Oh, you can see it. Oh! Alcohol, okay. I think, I think we're gonna cherish this for stinking ever. Any though? Like just the stinkiest dog? Like, ah! I'm, we're gonna put this up in our private collection in our room. Mm -hmm. What? That is just so cool. I've never seen one in person. I've never even heard of them. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, you don't watch as many of those that that hippie feller did no, in I the don't. dirt. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that is just the coolest thing, Adita and Don. Thank you so much. <laughs> Or Randy is a monster blog no longer being added to. Also, if you can't fix links on the website, I understand. Um, we haven't fixed um, all of the archives that I had added. Mm -hmm. I have not had an opportunity to get that sorted. And we are taking a break from the monster vlog probably until January. So just a short break. Or We love them, Anita. Thank you so much. Do you what, love? Like a month. Like a month. What do you want? You know, more than a month because we got all of December ahead of us. And then we also have one scissors. more oh. gift. <laughs> we have scissors. Um, and this one is from Julia. Are you here, Julia? I can't believe how blessed we are just to have you guys in our life. Thank you guys so much for just being here. Like, I don't know how often I can say that. I am luminous. I am so grateful. <laughs> and it is not readjusting. <laughs> am I glowing on your computer, Randy? Oh, yeah. Okie dokie. Well, this is life now. I guess I need to go get a tan. The mothership is outside the window. The mothership is here. Um, <gasps> Wait, I'm going to pause it. Huh? There we go. I'm st it's just, it's not readjusting. Sorry, turn it on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all see that Sam getting loved on back there? Hey, Z-Dog. You want to come up here and check this out with me? Hey, Z. Good boy. Z and I are going to be opening the mail together. Randy went off back over there and hung out with Sam, though. Hung, hung out with Sam without you. Okay, so it looks like we've got a card here. Is Julia here? Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a Cali cat. <gasps> Ooh, girl, look at that, Z dog. It's peacock feathers. Julia knows what I like. Ooh! Okay, it says, okay to read. I will not be at the live stream. I will be at work, but I always watch later. Well, hey, future Julia. <laughs> um, hi, Yvonne. I came across this DVD and thought of you. I watched your backpack hiking, hiking videos and thought you might be able to use what's in the pouch. We have... Hmm. Ah, we have Diezo's store here and they have all kinds of refillable bottles. So in the pouch are six various bottles, right on one spray and two pot jars. If you don't want to use them for backpacking camping, I'm sure you'll find another use for them.
Is he not? He is so boring. <laughs> That's just his face. Can you read? Nope. Okay, I never taught him to read. I'd be upset with me as well. Right on. Thank you for all of your videos. I really enjoyed them. P.S. I have a request. A while ago you made a pendant for the Tina beads in the frame. Would you please make a tutorial on how to incorporate them in the frame? Yes, I will. Okay, so we will... Ooh, Jewel School, the art of lamp work. <gasps> I know what I'm watching. Ooh, wee. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so cute. This is not dog treats, see. <laughs> it's not dog treats. We can open it though. Do you want to see what's in here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh! Some super cute little jars and stuff. Thank you so much, Julia. Oh, little bottles. Are these food safe? Suitable for viscous liquids. I think so. I wonder where she lives. Is she got in push bottom type bottle, face lotion, milky lotion, etc. Ooh, and a little spritzer. That'll be nice for homemade bug sprays. And push bottom type color bottle. These are perfect. I don't know when my next backpacking trip will be, but I definitely think we'll be more prepared now. <laughs> Aww. Hey boys, you guys smell terrible. <laughs> but I love you anyways. They say, Mom, you smell terrible, but we love you anyways, too. Right on. You want down? I'll give you a hug. He says, no, I'm kidding, my mom. Okay. Y'all ready to get back to work? Thank you guys so much. Anita and Don and Julia, you guys are the absolute best. Oh, you're such a good jam boy. <laughs> you're a good boy, too, <laughs> He's like, uh-huh. Chop the liver over here. Here, hop on down. If you don't hop down when I hold on to the chair, you throw it across the room. Okay. Whoop. Gosh, that is the coolest crystal. Like, the coolest crystal. Huh? You show what we got Whew. Yeah, all I want to do is play with fairy houses. I know. We gotta do something. <laughs> I know. I don't want to do work. I want to play with fairy houses. <laughs> oh, are you helping me? Well, I, I done took all my chairs away. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm just gonna do it here on this table. Well, okay, whatever. That's fine. It's not like I've already set up everything. Oh, I'm fine. It's fine. You know, I live to thwart you. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so some of the stuff that we have left on the website are a whole bunch of five dollar to eight dollar earrings, like two pendants. That's all we have. Is the two pendants we have ooh, a couple of very pretty bracelets and also if you guys are one of our supporters on um, our craft along club be sure to check out the email that we sent on Saturday with a link to our exclusive stream because there is also a top secret coupon for our craft along club members that gets you a percentage off of your orders and you can use that as much as you want. It's good for the entire month. Now you can't use it on your auction items, which we do have all of those listed up on our website now. Um, if you have an auction item, um, bracelets. And uh, it's also not suitable for like digital content or the subscriptions, but for all of our cabs, all of our bracelets, earrings, necklaces, pendants, all of that stuff, um, it gets you a percentage off. So, and we're gonna be doing coupons like that every month. I know, baby boy. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> he's so pushy so these are the cabs that we have left over from last week a couple of die crow that are super flashy and pretty in there um tracy says how do i get on the craft along club if you go to our website and click join craft along club um then it, it, there's like videos and stuff that take you through the step-by-step -step process of signing up and helping you pick which tier you would like 
Now we've got a bunch left from this week. Lots of really intense like blues and teals and these new like citron yellows. Do you want that? He's just laying on the box. He is. Sam is. So that's all the stuff that we have in our shop. Back to fairy houses. Wow, okay. Ah, I did it. You can't yell at me. Ha. <laughs> Randy's like, wow, bitch, way to half ass that. Um, are you going to offer the earrings you're wearing? Um, no, these ones I actually got from Earth Brown, Earthbound Trading Company, um, and painted them gold to match my Spyro costume, but I was, like, feeling them today. So, I also wanted to check and make sure that they didn't irritate my ears. So, um, it's fairy house time, y'all. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? So... Let me get some stuff scooched around. Okay. Getting this flipped. Hmm. Ooh, all done. Okay, just angling this up some. Tightening the tripod. Clearing out a few things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Ah, oh, right on, Gary. Well, thank you. Here we have, this is the, yeah, that's what we were working on on Saturday, was the spiral staircase out of popsicle sticks and a coffee stirrer um, and some toothpicks and some hot glue. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to start coming through and adding in some little mossy touches because I also got video of, let me zoom out a little bit, because this is actually getting to be a kind of large fairy house. We made, I, I shot some video after the live stream of making, what's up, babe? You didn't hear the thing on the porch. Uh-uh. What happened on the porch? But... A little like sitting area pergola made out of like sticks and some stuff. <laughs> okay, so but before I start adding things, I do want to because I'm going to be showing you guys how I make that like flocking powder moss. Um, so I'm going to come in here. We have four little. Um, flower boxes. We also have this little guy that needs some details added to him. So I'm using a very cheap, very stiff bristled brush <clears throat> and just coming through, I get a little bit of the paint onto the tips of the bristle and then I am blotting it off. And this is kind of just getting a feel like doing an underpainting for where we're going to be sculpting on the three-dimensional stuff. Now, I also have a second color of green that I'm going to be using because it just adds a whole lot of depth. What you sass that cat, baby? How much did you feed her this morning? I don't think I fed her this morning. Uh... What? <laughs> Okay. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, Lydia. Where is the craft table? Which craft table? <laughs> oh, for in the fairy house? This is actually like a fairy house coffee shop. It was a pre-purchased um, kit, actually. Sorry, I'm messing about with the tripod. Give me a sec. I don't mean to make y'all carsick, if that's the case. Um... Okay, so before we start painting everything, I'm going to show you guys the full setup of what we've got going on here. So this right here is what the coffee shop was supposed to look like. This was like a little kit. I got it at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them off of Amazon for about the same price. Because at Hobby Lobby, they don't let you use a coupon. Um... Don't mean to kick it. Ooh, 
Ooh, that would be really pretty to do a little ivy design. So I'm going to be putting some moss and stuff and planting up all the planter boxes. And then we've got this guy here as a little shelf. This was supposed to be a refrigerator, um, but I went through and was like, eh, fairies don't need refrigeration. So that's going to go right there. And then what do we have up top? Which I think I'm going to have to attach this to like a more sturdy base because it keeps warping. That's what I get for trying to paint card, not cardstock, chipboard. Super ultra thin chipboard. Um, so this one goes back here. Oh goodness. Okay, give me just a sec because I need to get, actually get this onto the Lazy Susan because that's going to make it a lot easier to... And then we painted a slime <laughs> for uh, d d What's your uh, battery at? Oh, I don't know. That's a really good question. I'm at 41%. I'll plug in. I've got a cord in here. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to scooch all that crap off. All the construction materials. Off to the side. Please pardon me while I have... Technical difficulties. Not even technical, just difficulties. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, but some way to be able to secure that up top. Also, ah, dang it, Randy, we were supposed to go get the stuff for the lighting. Huh? Um, the fairy lights? Do you remember? No, what are you talking about? Oh, we were going to get that string of battery-powered... Oh! Yeah, so this is going to have fairy lights run all through it and all up on the pergola and everything. So, again, that's how that's looking. So, we're going to load up the bottom first, though. That way you can see what's happening before we get the pergola on top. And this was a fairy garden in my garden shed. Oh, that'll be so cute, Tracy. Hmm. Now, today I just got notice I want to give cards and crystals pet points. <gasps> Ooh, well, congratulations, Holly. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, now we can turn it without making a big debacle. Um, so, <laughs> let me find my tweezers, because this stuff, I feel like a clumsy meat giant whenever I'm playing with my, with my miniatures. So, to make the plants, it's just a little bit of greenery from, like, silk floral hot glued into a bead. And I'm just going to set this one in there. I don't know if I'm going to be doing this one for a giveaway, just because I'm not entirely certain how we'd be able to ship it. Um, well, we've got a little tiny coffee pot that we actually used wire wrapping around a clear bead to make the little coffee pot. I'm just going to sit that there for now. There's the bulk of the coffee pot. <laughs> Lazy Susans are the best. But yeah, so this is the little coffee pot that uh, came with the kit with like the printed out um, stuff that you can kind of cut out and glue on. That was really fun. Hey, Kevin. She loves playing Catzilla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this is just another bead. That's supposed to like look like a jar, I guess. I glued like a little um, eyelet in there. And then this is just a little pot. I know, Kelly. I'm not going to bother with that one up there right now. Oof. I kind of wish there were a way to have everything like magnetized and be metal so it doesn't flop around all these top heavy plants. You know what I mean? About glass floors so you can see floors from top. Um, they had sent in the kit, there was a little piece of like acrylic that goes in on the top here. Um, but I made the stuff to the wrong side. So, Kelly, what are you even doing? <laughs> then, y'all, check out my tiny milk. 
<laughs> so that was a lot of fun to make. So we're going to get all up and close into this business. Because this is the level that I'd like to start taking my fairy houses to in miniature land. You could glue in sheet magnets. Ooh, that's a really good idea. And then we've got like little bags of coffee. There's one. And ooh, that one doesn't quite fit. There we go. And a lot of these, um, whoops, the little paper pieces and stuff, like these little bags here with the off brand coffee logo on them, uh, came with the kit <clears throat> that you just like cut it out and then glue it together. And I did get video of some of that, that way, y'all could see. And kind of craft along with me. And oh, whole milk. <laughs> like I have not in my adult life had any like anywhere near this amount of fun. Like <laughs> I was just playing with ridiculously tiny food. Okay, so here we have a tray of pink and white beads that I think look like little um little donuts, like little powdered donuts. So we're just going to slide those in. We have, ooh, here's a, here's a box of coffee that just, I'm just going to slide that in there on the bottom. Um, we have another potted plant. Just going to put that guy right there. <laughs> um, okay, and this is where I started to get creative in making my own stuff is this is actually, um, these are little four millimeter bone rondel beads on a hole punched piece, not hole punched, but like I used one of my leather punches to punch out some oil tanned leather for the plate just because it was a mess up actually from trying to do the seats of a, um, for one of the bar stools. And I just went through with that real brown acrylic and glazed myself some chocolate donuts. So we have some donuts on the display shelf there. We have, here's another little tray of maybe some lemon donuts. I don't know. I don't know what these foods are, but they look like they're probably the most delicious food, oops, in the known universe. So there's that one over there. <laughs> I'm honestly, I was afraid I'd like lose all of y'all whenever I whipped out my miniature stuff. Um, ooh, this one's a lot of fun. Um, we have, these are just wooden beads that look like they were designed to be bagels. Like, seriously. Don't those look like bagels? <laughs> Tara, <laughs> yeah, custard. Which, let's see, maybe we, I don't know where to put those yet. Now this one, I actually made the tray and all of the sweets myself. Like, they weren't part of the kit. Um, these are little Heshi beads. H-E-S-H-I. I don't think I pronounced them correctly. But they're just little, like, oops, where did my little sweet go? Okay. They're like a little wooden bead that has... You can see they're very, very small hold. Oh, wow. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> um, you can see they have um, just like that little hole in them. But this is one of those beads with some hot glue and a red seed bead on top. <laughs> yeah, diet food, right? Refrigerator, small and stove. Yeah, that's hopefully the eventual goal. I'm having a lot of fun with these little... Uh, miniature fairy houses. Oh, we've got another box of donuts here. So I'm not entirely certain. That one will go there. Let's see. Put 
and the little thing of donuts onto the shelf. <laughs> so, and just, just to let you guys know, I'm still going to be doing jewelry and everything. I'm just having a lot of fun with these miniatures. And then I made another thing of donuts on just a little piece of like, um, what was that? Popsicle stick? What's up, babe? Yes. Are also pink. Oh. Well, that's something to keep an eye out for. Mm -hmm. So I also, this was something that was pretty cool. I used a bead cap upside down as like the cake base. This is one of the, um, <laughs> one of the wood cutouts from our laser cutter for making one of our designs that I just frosted, I guess, with um, more of that real brown acrylic paint and put some little <laughs> red seed bees, seed beads. Are there going to be people in your house or fairies? Probably little fairies. I want to make a bunch of like little fairy statues, like dolls and stuff. So we've got that. We have another bead cap with a little polymer clay lemon slice and a little lemon custard donut or something that we can set right there um my goodness there's so much uh we have this is one of the little coffee cups that came in the kit i'm just trying to remember how i had this all anita says i've got to make an itty bitty city full of cool homes and businesses now don says me just because vaughn does it doesn't mean you have to do it <laughs> It's, I mean, this is a lot of fun, though, I'm just going to say. And, Don, in case uh, you are into tabletop gaming, there's a very fine line between ultra miniature doll houses and tabletop miniatures for D&D. So that's how I've kind of been able to get away with this with Randy. Is, um... <laughs> though, I say that, but he's, he's, he's so great. He just lets me do whatever the heck I want. And he's like, you'll figure out a way to pay bills off of it I'm sure <laughs> so but yeah so this is a little plate with like I used hot glue for the drink for the inside of the drink and it's got like two little donuts and it's got like a little piece of white uh, wire for the straw and again for the plate I just used like a leather cutout that from like scrap from my hole punch and then here we have another one of those bone beads with some um, hot glue and another red seed bead and this is just a little like three millimeter metal square bead <laughs> so I'm gonna put those on the table like they're ready to be eaten yeah that'll be good she spent all day inside so these are the bar stools which are upholstered in the leather instead of using the pleather that came with the kit and this was one that I was like, if I could do a metal base and just put a little magnet in the seats of the bar stools so I'd stop knocking them over, that would be awesome. So there's our two little bar stools. Kind of just sitting there like that. <laughs> Lydia says, how about designing a small town on a plywood base like trees and cars? I'd love to do a diorama of like what we would like... Um, camp craft along to be like you know how in movies like they'll bring in uh like the big diorama of how it's eventually gonna look and for like the pitch meetings and stuff it's like I think that'd be really cool for um to do for camp craft along okay and then this guy was just a little black painted wooden bead with one of with like a white plastic bead and a little seed bead on top so we'll put that up in this display case just like that oh this was another one that's just a little wooden cutout <laughs> so I'm saving all of those square cutouts from the fairy house that we made earlier um, and did in the giveaway like all the little squares from the windows I'm gonna save those and turn them into like little uh, yeah architectural models but made to look like fairy houses <laughs> um, but I'm gonna do all of those up to be like little fairy house suites 
And then we got just a whole mess of like little Starbucks cups or coffee time is the off brand. Yes, the town miniature is from Beetlejuice. Honestly, that's one of the things that put it into my head from the beginning was I was always fascinated by stuff like that. Uh, that was in Beetlejuice. Like ever since that movie. So I'm just putting all the little cups up there at the top. Beep, beep. When I was about 10, my grandpa bought... Oh. Retracted. Uh, this is a shop where does the fairy have a really big family. <clears throat> this kit was designed as a shop, so I'm kind of treating it like it's just a big shop. But eh, they could have... It could be the coffee shop on the Camp Craft Along Commune or whatever. <laughs> and this one was, I tried to make a cup shorter and then that didn't really work out. So I don't know what it is. It's just a little thing. I'm going to put it on the shelf right there. But yeah, I think if I do this as a giveaway, and this is actually a white stone bead from my collection. <laughs> Uh, with another bone bead and another seed bead on top. My autofocus is having a heck of a time trying to... Oh, I actually have a picture um, of Callie being Catzilla. <laughs> and this is like a little lime top. Where'd it go? Oh, a little lime topped cake. <laughs> now, the only thing is these stone beads are a little bit more slippery. And what else do we have in here? Also, brown leather looks like lava crunch cakes. <laughs> hey, Bella Ann. Ooh. Oh, it didn't even occur to me that magnetic paint is a thing. That's a really good idea. And then we've got another little lemon cake, like a little lime cake. Up there. And then, let's see. I don't know, another little eyelet. If sat on a jar, could look like, I don't know, anything. Or if sat on a shelf. So it, don't underestimate the ability <laughs> to, for something to look like something that it's not when it's in a miniature setting and placed there with intent. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is just a little star bead, but there's no reason why that couldn't be <clears throat> um, like a little seasoning shaker or decorative piece on a shelf. Just kind of hard to hold on to. So if I were to do giveaways on pieces like this, would you guys be interested? When I was 10, my grandpa bought me a little house to put together. It had furniture and people to put in it. The cool thing was the house was clear plastic. Oh, that is so cool. You need a tiny, a fairy refrigerator. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm going to put our bagels right there. And... I guess we can put a few donuts. Will they fit? Yeah, they'll fit. We'll put some donuts down there. And then we've got these guys in their basket. We've got where somebody would be sitting and eating over here. Okay, so let's bring this down to eye level because that's the coolest part to me is... um. Okay. <laughs> but if we were to do something like this as a giveaway... um none of the little pieces would be glued in so you'd get like a little like a box or something with all the give with all the little bits and pieces yeah. in it um ooh, sorry that is i use the color ads from these papers to make barbie food <gasps> bags of chips mountain dew wrapped around pieces of glue stick oh crafty that's brilliant ah, that's exactly the kind of pro tips that i need because i don't i'm like how do i like once i sell my milk or once we do the giveaway, or I don't know, we might put it up. Would you all be? What? Nothing. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Teresa says, yes, we can play with it. But I didn't know if you guys would be interested in something like this in our auctions. Um. So, because I know I have, I, I really love making them. And we're going to, hey, Sam dog. And we're going to be making videos about making them yeah he's super hoping some of that is for him 
but now we also have oops oh, I'm so glad that didn't land in my yeah I haven't done the landscaping yet I wanted to that's what I thought I was going to do in this video like in this live stream um but then I got sidetracked but we have all sorts of little there's even like a street like a sandwich shop sh sign with like the day's specials. Hey baby. <laughs> Why you gotta make it weird, Squatch? That's, <laughs> That's fair. But yeah, there's a little shop sign. And it had, you can see where I tried to glue onto the wall, like this like rack, but it was just in the way of everything. But so now we've got all sorts of little um, signage and things that we could glue up onto the walls. But again, I think I want to leave that for whoever either wins this in a giveaway or purchases it. Deb says yes to auctions too, right on. Yeah, some custom signs would be super cool. But there's like... These ones that can very, very easily be glued up onto the wall. There's like a clock. Time is a construct. Um, you could get waffles, eggs, desserts, paninis, coffee. There was this one. Because this was supposed to be like on the back of this display. And I was like, I need to make some tiny bread <laughs> for um, on that. But yeah, so there's all sorts of little little signs that could go all over the walls to hide the terrible paint job I did. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, because part of what was not in the kit at all was this spiral staircase. And that leads us up to, again, I think I'm going to have to make a different base for it. Oops, sorry. Um, where did my put, okay. That brings us up to the pergola, which the same moss that's on here, I was going to do everywhere and like have it be <laughs> all kinds of like super bougie cute. Um, we have another potted plant, which this is one that I need to put something very heavy in the bottom because it's very top heavy. So it tips over very like all the time. But I really want to make like some polymer clay succulents and stuff. Um, we have some wire wrapped chairs. <laughs> oh, right on, Lee. Uh, right on, Anita, for your she shed. But yeah, this is another one that's very, very top heavy. So I thought it'd be neat to like, if I put like a metal sheet underneath this and like a magnet in the bottom of the bistro table. Cause see, it just, it always wants to fall over and that makes me sad. Sad. But check out the wire wrapping on these chairs, you guys. I'm just going to bend the legs just a little bit. Ah, uh, thanks, Beth. <laughs> I had, I cannot even express to you guys how much fun I have had making this stinking thing. Because <laughs> I feel like such a giant dork. Because it's like, I don't know, I'm going to play with dolls. And it's like, well, that was my favorite thing in the world to do as a kid. And I, I feel like I never grew out of it. I just decided one day that you know, girls in middle school don't play with dolls anymore, so I guess I wouldn't either. But, um, so I haven't put in the fairy house. What about small circle cut and floor with glass or dome glass cab see in the bottom? Well, I was going to keep this to where it always can get lifted off because I made this part the wrong size to fit the tile that came with it, and I don't have any more of that material. Um, could use a drink umbrella for sure. Oh, that's so cute. I thought you meant make a tiny one for in the drinks. Ah, a drink umbrella. <coughs> Sorry, you broke me. <laughs> so I was going to make some hanging plants. I was going to fill the flower boxes. I was going to do some moss and stuff. Like, what do y'all think I should do with this? Like, should we 
technically we've gone over. <sighs> hmm. The popular craft I built custom houses, furnitures, and future rooms. Right on, mistress. Where is your battery level? Let's see. Ah, uh, 27%. I should plug in. But I was going to kind of just take all the stuff out of this and start painting and doing stuff to it. But I didn't know if I should leave it like this and auction it or give it away. Sorry. Um, as is. Or if I should just pour the rest of my heart and soul into it and see what happens. Let's do that. I'm All right. Rest of my heart and soul. Here we go. <laughs> Hmm? Said I know someone who would absolutely love that for Christmas. You think Catherine? Yep. Yeah, I was thinking so too. So I think I might just make this for a friend Catherine. I'll definitely have to make a um a storage box to go over it to keep all the dust off. <laughs> but yeah and so I keep like um I I have this little set of miniature drawers that I use to put all of the miniature things in that way they don't get lost I'll have to find out from Pam honey mm -hmm. if she thinks Catherine would like it better if all the stuff were glued down right. or if Catherine would rather be able to like move stuff around Uh, you are plugged in, right? I, I just plugged in, yeah. Mm. Keep of frames out of branches. Yes. And I don't know how much I'll actually be making the fairy houses from kits the way that this one was, but it did give me a sense of a place to start out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because sometimes my ambition of what I'd like to make and what I feel capable of making are not on the same page. And so this was, this little kit was a really great, like, icebreaker to get, oh yeah. <laughs> like, I never thought that, like, I, I went through my beads with fresh eyes because I was like, never before would I have been like, you know, will this bead make a good donut? Like, <laughs> you know, like. Just the little donuts and then, you know, dump that in there. Now, I did glue the little beads into the trays because I was like, that's going to be a nightmare whenever the cat knocks it over. It's one thing to have to go running through the house for tiny little um, sweets. I don't know what this is, but I would eat it. Like, I want to eat that, like a real life version size of it, because that looks like it would be the most yummiest thing in the known universe. <laughs> I, I did get the kit from Hobby Lobby, but they actually sell it for more affordably for the same exact kit um, on Amazon. It is the Coffee Time Miniature House Kit. It is 1 24th scale, which I don't think that that was a true quarter scale, like to where one quarter inch equals, or rather one half inch equals a foot. I think it was more one centimeter equals a foot. Um, and then some things just were a little bit off on scale. Because this is like a giant freaking coffee pot. But maybe it's supposed to be like an industrial coffee pot. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do what? Yeah. Okay, so that's all the little bits and pieces. Definitely faster put away. But like these little squares from the windows. Wouldn't that make like a super cute... Like a... Yeah, chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> oh, no, I want chocolate cheesecake. Who am I talking about? I always want, I wanted chocolate cheesecake way before anybody brought up chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side. And we I'm going to be painting a little bit of moss effects onto all of these window boxes. And then onto the rest of the thing. Oh, it was like seventeen dollars, I think. Well, we were in the store and we had a coupon. Well, they don't let you use coupons on these. What do we use the coupon on? 
Um, that wooden thing that you think is ugly. There's a lot of those. You gotta have too much. Uh, the one that looks like a rotten tree branch, but it's made out of plastic. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so now I'm just coming through. Let's get a better camera angle for y'all. Never eaten cheesecake? Right on. So I'm a super into sweets. I don't know if that's obvious, but um, cheesecake is amazing. Because I had gotten this kit thinking I'd mod it out into like a potting shed, but then I decided to follow the directions a little bit more. Okay. I don't want to overdo it with the mossiness. Like it still has to meet like fairy health codes, I'm sure. And so I'm not dry brushing so much as just stipling the, um, the paint onto, because that's a little too heavy. If you don't blot it off well enough, it goes on really thick. They just want little touches of green. Hey, Robert, how's it going? Ooh, Jamaican chocolate cheesecake sounds amazing. Probably my favorite chocolate I've ever had was chocolate from Ecuador. It was delicious. So good. Hmm. Yeah. What's the name of the kit? I'm trying to find it on Amazon. Um, coffee time kit. If you search like um one with a semicolon twenty four miniature dollhouse kit, um, a whole slew of them will come up. I actually have a bunch in my Amazon wish list too. If you want to get started shopping over there, um, like start start your shopping in the right direction. Yeah, just little, little touches of green. But I really like the stiff, gnarly brish bristles of um, this paintbrush for doing the stipling and texture. Wearing that green dragon eye necklace almost every day. Ah, right on, Sopa. I'm so glad you like it. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. Could you get the oven preheating for me? Just a 350? I'm going to be making a salmon and potatoes for dinner. Mm. Ooh, diamond painting and knitting. Sounds like a good time. Okay, so this green that I have been using is Fresh Fern. It is a matte acrylic paint. I think that's really important for, like, the organic look of stuff to make it look like an actual, like, like wood or a greenery. Um, because if you use the gloss, like how we did on my beach combers beige, that's a gloss. And I thought that was really appropriate for the, um, like the counters and stuff. 
So now I'm going to come through with Crocodile. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to use that just kind of to accent over the green we had already done. It's going to add just a little bit of depth and variation, I think. And I also think like a deeper, darker green would be pretty cool as well. But this is all I have on my desk for now. <laughs> all right on, Lydia. It definitely, I mean, a lot of folks are really good with mixing colors. Um, I really like having a big bottle of all the same color. That way I can be very consistent and get um, similar results every time. Now also, I'm trying to make sure, like, I don't want to rinse my brush out. Like, if I do that, I want to let it dry completely because I don't want to add any more liquid than what I need to because um, that won't give you that nice stifling effect if you do that. Ooh, one with the piano would be so cool. I have gone down, like, uh, bye, Holly. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I have been down a very deep rabbit hole of um, dollhouses and stuff here on YouTube and just making like miniatures and D&D &D terrain pieces and stuff and all sorts of stuff. So, um, in like, even like farm and train dioramas, like there's a whole lot of overlap between all of these. It's like different genres of the same field. But, um, that's basically all I've been watching <laughs> on YouTube for like a week. And I don't hate it. Like, I'm pretty happy. It's really nice to just feel, like, refreshed after watching some videos and not, like, stressed out or something. Okay. So you can see that adds, like, some nice, I don't know, a little bit more of, like, an earthy touch to it. Now that I've kind of knocked the dust off, doing some antiquing on these greenery, like the uh, flower bush mm, planters, flower bushes, <laughs> um, I am going to start adding in some details here to the inside of the house. Um, so I'm going back to using the fresh fern. Open that up. Blah, blah, blah. Dab, dab, dab. Um, and I'm actually going to come through and just, mm, I'm going to start back here where if I don't like it, it's not super highly visible. Okay. And I kind of want this mossy look climbing up the corners. And I know that there's going to be a shelf in the way here, and that's why I'm starting here so that I can refine my technique and until I can get the results that I want. And I'm going to have it spread as it gets up to the top. Skin is expensive to buy already made, so it makes yellow and white and brown. Ooh, right on. That is both clever and resourceful. So I'm actually using a pretty light hand to do the splatting. And, you know, making sure I'm out of frame. <laughs> I 
So I almost want to be adding the green like it's a vignette. I don't think I pronounced that correctly, but like around each of the portions of the wall. Like just framing it. Shout out to all our lurkers. What you guys up to? Whoops. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to do, Kathy. I think it'll be hopefully pretty neat. <laughs> right on, Christy. And I think that's all right. There's all sorts of stuff that I like watching that I never do. But I have a hard time resisting getting into stuff. Especially if it's crafty. Robert asks, where are you from? All over. I currently live in Missouri, like southwestern Missouri, near Oklahoma and Arkansas, but I was born in Ohio, met the love of my life in Texas, and plan on moving back to Tennessee. That's where we started our business, was in Tennessee. Actually, we kind of plan on moving to like northern Alabama, maybe. I don't know, it's really beautiful out that way. Maybe North Georgia, we'll have to see. Like, I'm really fond of the um, Chattanooga, Nashville area. Ooh, a little fairy microwave. <laughs> And I'm trying to focus the moss on, like, where would there have been a lot of foot traffic? Because that is some place where there would not be a whole lot of moss. And I never want to neglect the back sides. The back sides of the buildings. And houses and stuff. I think these sorts of things are best displayed on Lazy Susans. That way... You have an incentive to kind of make it visually appealing and interesting from all different angles. And that was something that this kit didn't really have any um, windows or anything. A new Jesse mess. That's amazing coffee bug. <laughs> yeah. That is very relatable though. <laughs> but over this green, it, it I'll be able to place all sorts of uh, silk floral or fake moss or dried moss or just different things like that. And it's going to give me much more of a generalized shape that I can then decide to follow or deviate from as we um, finish our piece. And it is very likely I'm not going to be finishing this piece today because I'm getting hungry and all sorts of stuff, but I will be continuing this piece in our Saturday exclusive stream, 
this weekend. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this develops, be sure to uh, join our Craft Along Club for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, you get access to all of our exclusive streams and different things that we do, as well as the coupons and stuff that we are now starting to offer. <laughs> A pro pool, I think of anyone you have been bitten worst by the uh, crafting bug. <laughs> nice mossy black backsplash. Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice way of ferrying up the uh, otherwise very muggle-looking coffee shop. <laughs> um, oof, Christy, that's a really good question. She says, how many hours have you been working on this, or should I say days, to get to this point? Um, <clears throat> uh, like two weeks. Do what, love? A lot. A lot. Like, I, I do think it's about two weeks at this point, um, but... It has not been all day, every day. Um, but for, like, a lot of it was, like, the paper minis. Like, I spent an entire day just making all the little, like, foods and stuff that I had on the shelves earlier. Um, but it was so much fun, you guys. Like, it, it felt like taking a day off. Um, even though I was crafting nonstop. Like, just hunched over in here. Um, not even really watching videos, I don't think. I might, because I, I was so focused on what I was doing, I couldn't, like, really pay good attention to any videos. Um, doing a whole lot of just talking with Randy and hanging out, and, I don't know. Did we talk at all, Randy, or have I just been lost in my own head entirely for two weeks? Okay, so I've just been sitting in here, um, playing with my dolls, <laughs> making fairy houses. Okay, um, next, the stairs. Uh, well, we appreciate you hanging out with us, Coffee. Hopefully we kept you company. Extremely expensive YouTube channel for me to watch, but worth every penny. Oh no, or every hundred dollar bill. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some vining stuff going all the way up this spiral staircase. So I'm going to be adding quite a bit of green paint to just let myself know what the plan is. But the thing is, is if I were to make something like this for sale, I don't even know, <clears throat> like, how much do you even charge for something like this? You know? Like, that's, I don't even know where to begin. Oops. So, I'm also using this as an opportunity to cover up all my ugly little hot glue bits. <laughs> Right? Change the name because that's part of my own channel. Name is crystal clear. Oh, right on. Well, congratulations on starting your own channel. I hope that's going well for you. <laughs> right on. But I think these fairy houses may be something that, um, I don't know if we'll auction them or just give them away. I'll have to talk with Randy more about that. They may be something that go and live on our website until somebody buys them and takes them home. So now I've gone into the territory of dry brushing. There's very, very little pigment left on my actual brush, and I'm just coming through and... 
scuffing it over the surface of our banister here to make it look a little bit more like an actual plant vine. Yeah, right on. Oh, that'll be cool, Krista. But yeah, so now we have it make it look like our hot glue, our little lumps of moss, maybe. <laughs> or maybe anything, really, that other than just straight stinking hot glue. They are, Kathy. <laughs> the little banisters are little toothpick tops. Smile. Yeah, this one that we did in today's giveaway was a modified template that I purchased on Etsy that we cut in the Glowforge, which I think this is how I'd like to do most fairy houses in the future, is something like this, but where if maybe the top lifts off or you figure it out. Because truthfully, I didn't have to glue the top on. We could have assembled the top and then um, had it just lift off. Ooh, that would have been cute. Can I give that back to you, Randy, so I don't lose it or get paint all over it? Thank you. Those are just stinking adorable, aren't they? <laughs> he's, he hates them. <laughs> he doesn't hate them, but he's just like, eh. The wood? Yeah. yeah. I've baked wooden stuff from, like, Walmart and stuff before. I don't know that this would be too different. You might get some scorching and stuff, but if you completely cover it in clay, um, I don't think you'd have any problems. Okay, so we've done our first layer of green. <laughs> now I get to go back through on all of it. Ooh, yes, little shroomies. <laughs> now, also, too, you could use products like epoxy sculpt or air dry clay. Sorry, I'm shaking a thing up. Oof, <laughs> shaking up a thing of uh, paint. Um, you could make the little mushrooms out of polymer clay, but have them already baked and then just glue them on with hot glue or, you know, just whatever, um, medium of glue you prefer. Again, this is why I start in the corners where there's going to be furniture. It's because my brush was way too heavily loaded. Oh, still way too heavily loaded. Hey, Randy. Um, I don't have any paper towels in here. Could you help me out by bringing me some? I thought that I did. I must have used them all. Thank you. You okay? Yeah. I smell hmm. I didn't leave dishes or something in the oven, did I? I don't know, did you? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that what you're smelling? It's just the cast iron though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it puts off a smell whenever uh it gets really hot. Like of burning cast iron. <laughs> okay, so that part there is a little more painted than I would have liked. Maybe I can come in and blot some of it off. Eh. Oh well, it is what it is. Ooh, I have been watching the heck out of Bentley House minis, Mary. <laughs> um, yeah, watching the heck out of her. Her Adams Family house is amazing. Like, actually, everything she's posted is amazing. But that that level of project is um really incredible.
Poppy says, I had to put my craft on hold for right now. My angels are so big, so I'm trying to get them to grow. Woo! Oh, that's amazing. Hey, John, how's it going? Thank you. Okay. Do y'all want to see a test fitting of the furniture? So I feel like I'm going crazy with the moss. I think I should stop for a while. Clean up the brush. Oops. Mm -hmm. uh, bye, Gail. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Ooh, so there's that little guy. There's the shelf. Yeah, I'm liking how that's fitting. So we will start doing the greenery in Saturday's exclusive stream, I do believe. And that'll be over in our polymer clay section. And, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm liking it. I think it's looking pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, we will see you in hopefully Saturday's exclusive stream. And then again on Sunday where I will actually be showing you guys how I made the pergola. So I'm pretty excited about that. And hopefully I'll be able to get a spiral staircase um, SVG put together and some different things like that. But uh, man, it is cold. So we're going to get the heater going and we will see y'all next time. So until then, happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>